Oh, this is so annoying. I really hate petrification. Also, this is way too many worms. The fact that they can all petrify is mad annoying. We're doing really good that one time. But now we're not. Okay. Someone needs to get Shaw back. to be a petrification come on right, this is where the damage starts piling on no die they come back but still if i can kill enough i don't need all of them dead when i fight this thing but the less the better I never scanned you. How are we fighting this thing a fourth time? What is this? Tales of Arise, where they reuse enemy designs constantly? I know Tales of is no stranger to reusing enemy designs, but we literally just fought this thing today. Two different enemy types is fine, but four different worms? That's a bit ridiculous. Dude, I hate this. It reminds me of Hammerzam. Hammerzam and Zillia is one of the most annoying enemies to fight, and this is basically Hammerzam 2.0 that likes to summon little minions. So, to sum up, I hate this. <laughs> You guys are... Just made it. I was trying to take the most, um... Oh, this is your weakness. Nice. I was trying to get the most out of my over limit. How much are you doing? How much do you have? That's basically what we got you through last time. Does every move have to petrify? Come on. Dude, this isn't a... I'm so sick of this worm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I said back in Shahara Desert, I like the boss, and I wasn't lying. I really did. But now that they use it three more times in the game, and it gets more annoying with each variation... Well, the arena one was easier than the Gardenia one. But, um, now that they reuse it, I'm starting to hate it. <laughs> I'm starting to not like it. It's very Hammerzam, and I hate Hammerzam from Zillia. Like, you can't even... If you kill the minions, they just come back. Leave her alone. I did not mean to jump there, game. I just need, like, everyone to not get petrified at the same time. Like, come on. Alright, get the big one. Again, getting all of them is pointless because he respawns them. Like a Grace's F boss, like the boar. I'll die. Alright, just one left. I can let that one roam around. That's whatever. He'll die eventually. 
He's finally in 100k. And still, I'm not sure what this means. Dude, Beast is so good. Oh, I had no TC. Dang it. Oh, dang it. He had his stupid guard up. Alright, Kors Mystigar is definitely best here. Haku, I need you not to die. I guess when this thing was weak to fire, they must change the weaknesses every time. What are you guys doing to Shaw? Stop doing your hammer zam stuff. Ground nonsense needs to stop. Alright, my Mystic Art was really good. Beautiful. Taking the most out of my over limit. Oh, dang it. I was just. I just missed it. I was in the air, so like that took up a little bit of my over limit time. It's fine though. That was still a lot of damage. Dude, I honestly feel like... No, did not mean to press that. Um... <laughs> honestly, Mystic Arts in this game, I feel like they don't do enough damage. Compared to other games. Like, they do a lot, don't get me wrong, they're Mystic Arts. But, they don't feel as strong as other games. Sometimes I think it's better to just, like, combo the enemy to Oblivion without a Mystic Art. Is basically what the point I'm trying to get at. Okay, that's the kind of game we're playing now. Is that what we are doing now? Game? Hey. Don't die, Kohaku. Oh, there's so many worms. Let's just get people up. We're not going to be able to... is really annoying and not fun. There you go. See how long that lasts. You got the revive, that's neat. I did not mean to make you use Infernal Prison. <laughs> Here, we'll jump. Where's the big one? Oh, he's still got 100k. Did he heal? I could have sworn he had less than that. If he healed, that'd be that'd make me livid. Do I still have my stone proof? I haven't been stoned all that much. And again, stone proof only makes it 50%. You still get stoned. If you have stone proof, it just lowers your chance of drastic. Oh, okay. I, I lost, right. I'm honestly done. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not done with stream, but I don't. I honestly. We still have another boss to take care of. I'm trying to think what I want to do. I think I'm just done, honestly. I don't have the time to do that dungeon, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I do. And that really sucks, because I don't know, is Kors, is Kors Shadow Gem thing inside that Triverse gate? Because we only got to barrel 
Isui's Ines and Kunzites. I'm kind of wondering, where is... Are they going to have Kor, Shal, Gaul, Kor, Shal, Sidoni, Gaul, and... Who else name is Kohaku? In that one place? I honestly just think I'm done. I had such a fun time with hearts, and I'm kind of like... Again, I'm like, I'm already not going to get the Shadow Gems, and I'm kind of just like... Not necessarily at my limit with the game. I'm not like, again, that boss is annoying. I'm not like necessarily like, oh, I hate the post game. I kind of do. Again, I just really don't like post games that like require you to grind a lot. And this kind of feels like it's a bit like Grace's, but not as bad. Oh. Oh, this is actually good. We can watch a skit and make the time get the four hours because I, I have like 10 minutes left. Ah, now the contraption has a cold, unbelievable. Cold? I don't understand what you mean. You just sneezed now, didn't you? A sneeze? I don't understand what you mean. Jeez, ain't he even it? He ain't even aware of it. You okay, Kunzite? No malfunctions identified. You need not concern you. Uh, uh, chew. I think he's getting worse. That was the worst sneeze impression I've ever done. Let's not pay mind to that. We should get him to bed. A uh, yup. I'm able to perma perma. Terribly, I don't even know what that word means. Without assistance. Anomaly detected in lower limb joints. Locomotion appears to be impaired. Well, don't hurt yourself or anything. Hey, someone come and give me a hand here. You called? Mecha Knight's got the mecha sniffles. Help me lug him to bed. You got it. Oh, Kunzite sure is heavy. Jeez, how much tin did they pack into this guy? That should do it. Good night's sleep should take care of that cold. I hope you feel better soon, Kunzite. Well, we'll leave you to the rest. Give us a holler if you need anything. Rise in eternal temperature detected. Could this be a cold? Now, I am gonna end, I think. I think I'm just done with hearts. Again, I wanna just talk a bit. I, I have a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna talk a bit. If you're like, if you're like, you don't care to hear what I'm about to say, you can just like, leave. Because I'm done playing the game, but like I'm gonna talk a bit about hearts because I do have a lot to say And I don't want people to think I hate the game or even hate the post game to be honest Um classic post game dungeon and tales of it's very iconic Um, I do like the fact that you can fight shadow versions of the characters. It's really neat in theory I just think they require a little bit like too high of a level I don't know what it is. It's just like I got stunlocked a lot with a Ness. I had some really good runs. I almost beat a Ness's shadow. And then I got stunlocked and uh I, I got stunlocked and um with those two like a Ness attempts, I got really close to beating her. So I could really beat her if I wanted to. But like I got stunlocked and there was nothing I can do because I was stunned. And you can only have one accessory, and I feel like having the lightning badge is the best accessory to have. So yeah, it's a neat concept. It's really, really cool. I just think the fights are meh. Unless you're like super high level, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. I don't have the time to grind. I'm like in the mid 80s. Maybe they expect me to be like 90s or 100s. I just don't have the time. Um, But yeah, so that's really cool. I think it's really cool. You got like Shadow Somas, which I guess are like probably like Devil Arm equivalents. That'd be neat if there were Devil Arm equivalents. Um, I guess that's what the Shadow Arms are, which is cool. No, don't put anything. I'm gonna do it eventually because I have to platinum the game. I'll probably just do it on my own because I'm gonna- I gotta platinum the game regardless, but don't- don't- don't bother because I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Um, so yeah, the Shadow Gem thing is cool. Fighting Shadows of Yourselves is really, really neat. And it's a good post game. I think for the most part, Hearts was like manageable. I actually did like fighting those two bosses. The first turtle boss was like meh, the poisoning was annoying. But the second boss I actually enjoyed fighting, the one in the Triver's Gate of Shahara Desert. And then the Reaper I just didn't like fighting that much. And Huber and Pascal I liked fighting, they were fun. Seeing Huber and Pascal was great. Um, good cameos. But let's, let's like recount this. I've said this many times, I said this in my Destiny playthrough, I'm gonna say it again in case you didn't watch Destiny, uh, the final video. When I play Tales games, the amount of times I did the post game right after the main game, it's very few. The only games I can think of that I did that were Zillia, Berseria, and Arise. 
those three Tails games, I jumped from the main game to the post game, and it was like challenging, but it never felt like, oh, you need to grind a ton of levels in order to stand a chance. It never felt like that in those three games. Um, Symphonia is kind of like that. Grace is guilty of it. Vesperia, kind of, sort of, but not exactly. I guess it kind of is. I guess it's kind of like Hearts, where it's like half and half. Um, Hearts feels like a half and half. Half of the post game feels like oh, it's like challenging. This is just my opinion, by the way. You're free to disagree, people watching or anything. But half of the post game in Hearts, like Huber and Pascal, they didn't feel overly difficult. They felt just the amount, just the right amount of difficulty. But um, half of the post game in Hearts feels like oh, like you can definitely do it. Like I think the first two Traverse Gates bosses felt like the first two Traverse Gate bosses felt. Fair, and I didn't need to over level maybe level up a little bit, but nothing crazy like you need to ng plus Um the shadow fights definitely feel like that and the last two bosses I I'm assuming there's a third the last three bosses of this Triver's gate feel like that Huber and Pascal don't by the way, so it feels like half of the post game Maybe they expect you to be like oh level up a little bit then do the post game Then they expect you to like grind to insane levels to do the rest again. This is my first playthrough. I could be wrong that's what it feels like, though. It feels like the post game has a difficulty jump in a way. Like, you have the post game, right? You have the post game be like, I don't know, 75 to 80. And then when you do all that, the stuff I named, expect you to be like level 100 or something. It's crazy. So, I feel like there's a bit of a, a difficulty bump mid post game. Rather than the post game all being like relatively consistent and relatively like not difficulty spike i don't really know how to word it but there's not really a consistency in this post game it feels for me it feels like the first half is like difficult but doable kind of like zillia arise and berseria their post games which weren't easy mind you the gold mage knight and zillia is no walk in the park i did it on hard mode and it was a really really hard fight and i i, I won um, Arise had some difficult fights. I mean, Arise wasn't, like, super difficult. I played that game on hard mode, and same thing. For serious post-game dungeon was annoying, but even then, same thing. So, some of Hearts feels like that. The first half of Hearts' post-game feels like that, but then the second half feels like, oh, you gotta grind a ton of levels for the rest of it, and I just don't like when Tales of does that. I appreciate Grace's post-game. I like it, but... I didn't like Grace's post game in the beginning because I never even done it until I ng plus the game. I rather do the post game be given the option to do the post game without being frustrated. I rather it be like that because who knows when I'm gonna play the game again. So, you know, that's my opinion. I don't like Tales games that do that, and I rather Tales games do stuff like have the post game be immediately after. So, you know. But I think I'm done with hearts, honestly. I think this is a good enough send-off. I did enough of the post-game, and I enjoyed the game. So why am I going to sour my opinion? Chat's agreeing that I probably should um, keep my opinion of the game high, which it still is. It's a good game. And not suffer. Oh, I need a drink of water. I barely, I barely drank water today. My water is, like, more full than normal. But, uh... We're done with Tales of Hearts. This is probably like part 153 or something. I don't know. Uh, those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed Tales of Hearts. Really good game in the books. I am going to work on Platinum in the game, so I, I'm going to end up doing all this stuff and I'll get an opinion on it. I don't know if I'm going to do anything for YouTube with it, but we'll see. I doubt it, though. Uh, Hearts was a fun time. I really liked the cast of the game. Um, again, I didn't like the ending. I didn't like what they did with Lithia and Kunzite. But, um, I, I did like the cast of the game, the story was good enough, the combat was a ton of fun, and it's just a high-tier Tales game. It's a really good Tales game. Again, if you're looking for a game, like, a Tales game, I would recommend this. If you love the Tales of series, if you played all the others and loved them, I would recommend Hearts. It's another great entry in a great franchise. So, yeah, that is it. Um... Uh, Good stream, good stream. It got a little rough for some of it, but overall, I'm glad I got to see Huber and Pascal in the game. Honestly, that's the highlight. I'm glad I got to see them, so I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with seeing Huber and Pascal in the game, even if they were in dumb cat costumes. But yeah, we're done with hearts. Uh, tomorrow, chat, I'm going to not stream. It's Sunday. I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I need a day off. 
Monday, I think we're going to start a new playthrough on Monday. I don't want to start a new playthrough on Tuesday, Wednesday, because FF6, we're going to start on Wednesday. So I think I'm going to just start a new game on Monday, do EZ8 on Tuesday, and then Wednesday will be FF6. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Tales of Hearts, great game. Would recommend. And, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's only on the Vita. I hope they port this game. But yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.